everyone so welcome back to part three of my journal series so let's see so far this is what we have and we're journal now the only thing that i've done since i was on camera is trimmed down the pocket on this side and i've added in some random stenciling i just used three different stencils this one, this one, and this one. And I literally just chose out some pages, went through it, and put in some random bits of stencil. And I feel like this just ties the journal together. I put the same coloured ink all the way through, but that's just me. That's totally, you know, up to personal choice. Okay, so what are we going to do next? Let's start by adding in some fabric tabs so i've got five and i chose this checked fabric that i have here because i've kind of went with the sort of greens and purples so i thought we've got the purple the lilac -y check we'll go with some green check so i'm going to pick i want to do five throughout the journal because i'm going to do five bulb pins with little charms on them so we'll choose five pages at random i want the first page now when I put these in, I put them at kind of different levels slightly, just so that when the charms are hanging it looks quite nice. So I've made these roughly, I mean they're not all the same size, they're roughly um, about an inch and a half by about an inch. But again, that's just me, that's absolutely personal choice, whatever size you like to make them. So I'm going to use, I'm running out this fabric glue pretty fast. You can use, I do use the Anita's glue as well um, for sticking down fabric and it works. It says for arts, crafts, hobbies and DIY, um, funky foam, card, paper, mosaic. So it does stick down fabric as well. So, But we'll see how much we get out of this. And I'm just going to add a wee bit of glue. Okay. and then stick a wee bit on this side double it over to leave yourself a wee tab try and get it straight and then just press it down like that so you've got your wee tab on both sides and I like doing this in a journal because it means you can section it off if you want to when you're using it but as well it's aesthetically nice as i said for putting on the wee bulb pins so i'm going to put one there so let's see one there and then open it up a bit here and we'll have one on this page don't need a lot of glue for this because it, it is just a wee thin piece of fabric Okay, and I'll put one slightly down a bit. And just stick it over there. Like that. So I've got one, two, I think we'll have one a bit here. And just pop this in. So thank you to everybody for all your amazing comments on this journal series. Um, I'm actually really enjoying it. It's great to get back to crafting. But it's good to know that you guys are enjoying it as well. So thank you so much for all your amazing comments. I love reading them. So that's number three. It just feels interactive. It feels like, you know, you're not just sitting crafting to a camera. People are talking back. And let's face it, guys, none of us would have YouTube channels without everybody else. So it's just, I don't know, I just I love it. It's amazing to know you guys are watching it there. And I love, I just love it. Okay, so put in number four. I'm the one, I'm no big on social media. I do have an Instagram that I post on. 
So when I get feedback on here and guys talk to me and stuff, it's, it's amazing. I know a lot of folk do it on Facebook and stuff, but I don't have that. So when I get, you know, comments and stuff on here, it's amazing. Okay, so. Oops. Let's put number four on here. Pull that out just a wee bit. Number four. And then let's close it up, see where I've got them. And we'll have, yeah? Hi. 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 Oh, making a video. Oh, yeah. That's okay. And I'll have my last one here. Okay. So let's just. that one and I'll have that a bit here. Okay. So let's check. Yep. See how it's like staggered down now so when I put the charms on it'll look nice. That's pretty cool. I like the green with the the purple pom pom. Okay, so let's start putting some bits of ephemera and stuff in and decorating it up a bit. In this front pocket, let me just grab um, this. This is a freebie um, from Art Amazes website. I'll link it down below, guys. So I want this book belongs to, and I think I'm going to use this one. Will I? Or will I use a floral one? No, I'm going to use that one. So, quickly cut this out. And it's really cool because she's actually, Andrea's put a lot of freebies on her site, which of course she doesn't have to. She has an amazing Etsy shop, but she's put quite a lot of freebies on for us guys. Um, which is super kind of her. I use quite a lot of them because they're amazing. This one, especially, I use a lot of. Okay. So I'll just cut that out. And I'm going to put that right here in the centre. This book belongs to. Let's see if I can get this glue to work. Look at it, the tips split. That's why I've got... Um, tape round it and ugh, I always say I'm going to keep the cap on it. I think I managed to keep the cap on one bottle the whole way through. Do you know that? I, I consciously done it. But I forgot with this one so it keeps blocking. Okay. So let's... Ooh. Oh my gosh. Give myself a wet blush. <laughs> okay. Put some glue. And then let's just put this right in the middle. So it kind of matches. It's like a sort of lilac -y, purple -y colour. Just press that down. And then take my brush. I've got my ink on it. Still got some ink on it. And just sort of blend it into the page. Like that. So it looks like it's part of the page. So this pocket I have these letters here. I'm not sure who these, which digital kit this is from. These were sent to me, so I'm not entirely sure. But they're absolutely gorgeous. They're like old vintage letters. So what I'm going to do, I'll use this one. But to tie it in with our theme, let me just grab a stamp. Hmm... Decisions, 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 decisions. Which stamp do I want? God, that's terrible, yeah, that's terrible. Deciding stuff. I'll have this one. This is one I got a while back from In Love Art, so I quite like it. And I would grab a, an acrylic block if I could find where I've sat them. Ah, find them. Hiding. Okay, 
So let's just take some vintage photo. In fact, no, no vintage photo because that's a bit light. We'll take some brush corduroy distress ink and we'll just ink it up and right in the corner here. Press that. That's pretty cool. Quite like that. And then we'll use this one, which is like a half a one. Oops. And I'm going to put that on this side. So it looks like it's half on the paper. And then again, yeah. Okay. I like that. I'm trying to be really tidy and put stuff away as I'm using it because when I was tidying my craft room the other day, it took forever. I had bundles of stuff upon bundles of stuff that I had been using um, or just piled it up in the corner. So I'm trying to be good. I <laughs> don't know how long it'll last for, but... Okay, so we've got that letter, which I think is really pretty. So that just gives you some extra writing space. If you want to do maybe, I don't know, a list of some sort, maybe a holiday list of the stuff you want to take with you and pop it in. So we'll pop that in there. What else can we put in there? Let's see. That's quite nice. I don't know if that would fit in though. Nope. Let's see what I've got over here. Okay, I think we'll go with one of my journaling cards and we'll pop that, oops, in there as well. Okay. And a vintage postcard. So you've got these three goodies. I like to put quite a lot of stuff in a journal. I just think it's nice if you want to do some extra bits. Right, so we've got that. I like that B plate, so I don't think I'm going to do much to that. Will we? No. But on the back, I'm going to add in one of my Edith Holden. Or will I put in an Edith Holden? Or do you think this would look nice here? I like that. This is what I'm like. It's totally on the hoof. I've never really got a plan. I just sort of go through it and think, right, what will look nice? And but I think that's the best way. Be enjoyable. Okay. So let, we'll put it to the side. Yeah, we'll put it to the side. Pop it to the side of there. So that looks nice. And then I've got this tag. I don't know if that all should fit. That was sent to me as well. It's absolutely beautiful. So that can live in there and then you'll still see the tassels hanging at the top so that's pretty cool here on the music sheet i think we'll do um a wee tiny bit punching i'm not going to punch it all the way up i just want a piece in the center like that see that like that um, we'll leave a page for journaling. We'll leave another, we'll leave that page for journaling and that page. And on here, I've got an absolutely beautiful um, tuck spot that Susan sent me, Susan Langford, when we done our swap, which is even stamped to be B. So I'm going to pop that there. So I like to try and leave as many journaling pages as possible because at the end of the day, this is for writing in. So, pop that down there. And, no. I think we'll leave that to dry for a minute before we put anything in it. What about this one? Hmm. 
Mm. No. I do have some. What was I with them? Yeah. Stickers. These are from in Love Art Shop as well. But I really do like them. I think we'll just add a wee embellishment in there. As I say, I don't like decorating every page because, you know, I like to leave some scope for whoever gets the journal. But I do like putting in some just to theme it a bit. So we'll go with this down there. That's quite nice, it just adds in, sorry, adds in a wee bit of colour. Down that side. Here we could have, I've got this Edith Holden envelope that I made with the notelet inside that I just stamped. And I think we'll have that one there. And I've got a beautiful paper clip as well that was sent to me, isn't that gorgeous? So I'm going to stick that one there, like that. Okay, this is just preliminary guys, I will go back and add more and more stuff, but this is just how I work it. I kind of go through it and see where I, I kind of want to put stuff. And then I will go back and, because I've got lots of journaling cards and stuff that I need to make up and all sorts of bits and pieces. So this is literally just a wee preliminary to see where I'm going to be putting stuff. Um, I quite like that wee pocket, but it's blue. I really didn't want that colour. Let's take a green alcohol marker and see if it'll cover it any. No, no chance. Seeing that, the blue or the yellow, maybe it would go on that side better. Do you think? Because there is some blue in some of the... No. No, I'm not like... Oops, I'm not liking it. <laughs> I ain't liking it. I no like it. Let's have a little picture or something. Ah, look, we've got the vintage, um, I'm sure these are from Lorna, from Taylor Made Journals, from Etsy. Let's have a wee vintage seed packet. page may get some lace in it or something on the other side but I'm not I do all my lace and add my fabrics and stuff separately right now we'll just add some paper embellishments in so put that there just some nice images to look at throughout the book telephone order that needs something Bit of stencil on. Okay. I'll have this mushroom because it's got a wee bit of orange red in it. Should we have it down here or on the. No, I'll put it on the bag. I'll probably put some lace or crochet or fabric in that as well. Um, in that bag. Bit of stenciling on here to take the plainness away. That'll definitely get some fabric or something done there. Some page punching down this page. Oh, missed a bit. I'm still missed a bit. How am I doing that? There we go. Mm, 
usually this bad at page punching, but I am ready. Why is that missing it? Come on. Oh, butcher dust, right? I butcher dust. So that's coming out. I think it's the way I'm sitting. I'm busy looking over the top yet. Okay, so we've torn that edge. So I want to grab a piece of copy of paper, go right down the edge to make it kind of like singed. There we go. That's fine. So right now I'm only working what's on my desk but what, like I said, what I'll do is I go through and I have a look and see what I like and then I'll go back over the pages and think right this needs something, that needs something and then that is when I'll rummage through my stash so it won't be this video but you'll see me probably on the next one adding fabric and going through my stash and seeing what other wee goodies and then I'll look through my die cuts you know my dies and say right that wee die cut pocket would look good there and I've got tags that I could die cut out and things like that so it's quite a long process there's a lot of work goes into these journals but it's fun so we'll pop that one there and this will probably get a piece of fabric going across the bottom like a crochet piece or something like that will go across the bottom of there so that'll be the next stage so no bother with that here on this side I will add a pocket and this is one of the Edith Holden ones that I made with the tag just a simple wee pocket so it's got the tag in it, but then whoever gets the journal can obviously take it out and put in whatever they want in here. I think they're just cool for keeping wee bits in that you didn't want to lose. So we'll pop that on there. And that will get like a piece of fabric or something across the bottom as well when we're adding in our fabric pieces. And trims and things. So we've got that there. I've got an Artemis butterfly strip. This is a freebie that she does as well. So I'm just kind of tearing it. Like that just to take off the straight edges I also will go through the book and stamp um, pages and things like that but not at this stage this stage as I said we're just going through and adding in some bits and pieces And it's sometimes quite hard to know when to stop because there is so many bits and pieces that I'm going to add in um, at different stages. But so sometimes the book can end up majorly full. But oh well, it is what it is. There's enough wrongs in crafting, like I always say. It's what you make of it. Okay, so that's cool. These will probably get stamped and stuff. I think I'll add 
Is this still section one? Yeah. I think I'll add a pocket to this page. So, give me two seconds, guys. Okay, so I've grabbed this wee pad. Um, this is 250 GSM. So I want to... That's quite nice. Um, yeah, we'll take that. It's got, like, dragonflies and things on it. Make a pocket from this. Yeah, so let me just turn it over and quickly measure, just leaving a gap at the side, just a small gap so that the page will close. Grab my pencil and quickly mark that there. Just cut this down to here. Then think maybe yeah okay so that's going to be my pocket I'm going to take a punch and a strip of let's see a strip of what I want a strip of something nice, something decorative. Maybe, what did I do with that? Okay, so I've grabbed this box of paper shapes that I've got. And it's got these long strips in it. Let's see if there's anything that particularly takes me fancy. This one. I'm going to, let's just measure it actually, see if we're punching unnecessarily. So just measure it like that. Like that. And I'm using this one, this Martha Stewart punch. I don't know what it's called, it's just this one here. So... Ah, I've redeemed myself. <laughs> I don't know what I've done the last time. Okay, take it that wee bit. Let's get rid of that. And I want to put that just along the top of the pocket. So we'll get some glue on it. Okay, and I'll put it just along the top here, so it gives it like a decorative edge. Then, let's see, I've got some different crochet here, and I'm going to pop some along there. Just to decorate it. Decorate it a little bit. What did I do with that? See what I mean? My desk isn't even that big. How do I lose? I feel there yeah, it's a full bottle of glue. <laughs> oh, I don't know guys. So I'm just putting this in the center so the top and the bottom are near attached. Okay. And let's just Pull it right to the edge on this side, stick it down and let it stick over the edge at that side because that's the side that's going to stick out of the book and I like the wee extra bits hanging it. So put that there and then we'll take a fatter piece 
we'll make sure it sticks over the edge as well. And again, just pop some glue. This time I'm going to put a wee bit on the top. And just some in the middle. Like that. I'm going to stick it roughly there. Okay. I didn't mean to put glue on that edge, but that'll dry, it's fine. Okay. Make sure that's a wee bit straighter than that. Okay. So let's stick that in and then see if it needs something else. So just stick it in the three edges to leave my pocket open. See where my edge of my corner is. Okay, and then stick that down. I'm not sure if I like that hanging it there like that or not. Yeah. Mm. Maybe too much, maybe it just needs a wee bit off. Yeah, that's better. That's definitely better. And then... Take the whiteness off of here. something else it definitely needs something okay okay so I've pulled out some bits and pieces so I think this trim would look nice there it just takes the contrast for the two away if you know what I mean so I'm going to a bit there and then run my glue along here okay so that would go there let's just snip it off a wee bit too long that can go there then I've got this washi tape which is really light it's like, I don't know if you can see it, it's got like postage marks and stuff on it. Let me see if I can find the edge. Put a bit more glue there. Stick that. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's really light, it's got like post office and all sorts of stuff on it. So, because that's such an expansive like orange, I know there is orange in the book, but I'm just going to lighten it up with this washi tape. Just pop some over there. Like that. Okay. So I think that 
that looks better. Then, just to finish off this pocket, I've got a, a metal rose. So that's from BB Craft as well, actually. There, that's somebody was asking me yesterday, or uh, was it today, where I got the metal butterflies? Same place. So I'm just letting my glue gun heat up. So that's gave us quite a deep pocket in there, which I quite like. And maybe when I'm going through the fabrics, I'll probably put a piece of crochet in this side. Just to match it. Do you know what? We'll just do it now while I'm waiting on the glue gun heating up. We'll put a bit down this side. Just while we're here, might as well. I'm just adding the glue to the paper this time. Because so that it gives me I know what depth I want it. And then just stick that on like that so that kind of gives you it ties it in if you know what i mean it gives you like the i know you know what i mean i'm talking to myself guys <laughs> so that is on there and that is on there let's see if this glue gun is heated up any yep let's just pop on some hot glue Okay, and let's put that in there. Let's just hold it on for a wee second though. Okay, so that's turned out quite a cute pocket. So, I probably will do a wee stamped image there when I go through the book and do the stamping. But we'll have one in my journaling card in here. And let's see. I've got a lot of ones that I haven't made up yet, like big tags and stuff like that, which I will go back and add in at the end. But we'll add in another sheet of this writing paper in this one. So. Let's just quickly add on a couple of butterflies. Just to tie it into our theme. There we go. And then that can go behind there. And I will put another journaling card or something like that in there. I've just not backed them all yet. But that will definitely go. And I'm going to stick a piece of acetate in there just now so it doesn't stick onto the other page. So that's that page. What else have we got that we can... Is that the last page? So that's the second last page yep. of the journal. So I think we'll have, um, not the journal, of um, signature one. I think we'll have this here flipping up the way. Okay. So, let's decorate it up just a little bit. I'll choose a nice flower for here. This red one. Well, it's a sort of burnt orangey one. Pop it there. Just grab my stencil, my trusty. My trusty, trusty. Put a wee bit on just to tie it in. Okay. Then I'm going to take a piece of 
fabric. There. And what I will do is put a, a charm on the bottom of that to weigh it down. But we'll stick this here just now. So let's just put on some fabric glue. Not too much because I didn't want it to soak through too much. Pop that on there. Then... I should get stuff organised before I... Yep. We'll pop a piece of this on top. This is all from Becky's Crafts and Goodies. This beautiful fabric. She sent me it a long while ago. I'm still using it. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I can trim that afterwards, but we'll stick it on. There, and then... My goodness, I'm getting glue everywhere. I tried myself nuts with that, do you know that? And then another wee piece just to cover up the raggedness. Here. Okay. I need to go up to the, the range and pick up this glue again. It was... Um, that's two bottles of this I've went through, but it's good and it's really cheap. Okay, pop that down there like that. Turn it to the back. And I didn't want any of the fabric hanging over the side this time. I want to neaten it up. Like that. And the same on the other side. Okay. It needs something there. It needs a butterfly. Okay, so I've got these stickers. I'm going to take this one give it some extra glue and that can go yeah I don't want to put any gems in anything on it because it's going to be you know I want it to be able to if you write on it let's just take the brush corduroy and ink it around butterfly okay let's stick this one in so it's going here so that you can open it up and write in it I'm going to stick a tag down the back it as well so I'm just going to glue around the three edges like that Put a bit there. Okay, 
that's cute. So once that all dries, you can open that up and write on it. And that is going to be like that. And I'm going to make, I'll make a large tag. Um, I'll die cut on it and I can put it down the back of there. But I'm going to shove that in there just to remind myself that that is there. So, what time are we on? 35. We're almost at the end of the first signature sticking stuff in anyway. I think I'm going to put another nice image. Another one of the vintage tea cards. I like that it'd be pretty things throughout the book because, you know, when you're writing, it's nice to have nice things to look at as well. So we'll put this one up here. Like that. Okay, so, so far then, in signature one, we've done our pocket. Do you think that needs, that looks a bit plain. Yeah, that definitely needs a bit of that across there. There was something about that just not right, it was annoying me. It needed some sort of colour. So I'll add that in there. Okay. So we've done that we pocket. We've got our tabs in that we're going to stick our um bulb pins on. A wee bit of punch in. We've got this big pocket with a tag. This tuck spot is going to get something cool in it. Um, I think on the next part we will concentrate on making some more, I'll just pop that in there just now, some more ephemera and stuff like that. You know, cards and pockets and stuff. I've got an envelope. Some stickers, some bits. We need a holding pocket. It needs some fabric on it as well. So does that. And then we've made this pocket. So because it's so late. I think we will leave it there for this session. You can see we've started to fill the book up already. So yeah, that was good. That was good fun. So talk to me in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think of it so far. If you've got any ideas you think I should put into it, let me know. I like all this with the fabric sticking out the sides. And yeah, please hit me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in part four. Bye-bye.